A Roanoke County student was struggling to express herself in class because of a disability until her fellow classmates designed a device to help. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett talked with the teachers and classmates who jumped into action. She's working for you to show you this one-of-a-kind tool that's helping this student reach her potential. Meet 17-year-old Bermette Moore. Oh, She's a student at Roanoke County's Burton Center for Arts and Technology. Moore has cerebral palsy, a disorder that affects her ability to walk and control her muscles. It's difficult for her to write or gave type. Me a picture of the entryway. Her English language learner teacher, Margaret Witt, wanted to help. She had all the knowledge that she needed, but the cerebral palsy was kind of robbing her of her chance to fully participate as much as she wanted to. So she enlisted the help of Sean Burns, the school's mechatronics teacher, a type of engineering that brings together mechanics, electronics, computing, and robotics. He put his students to work designing, 3D printing, and building this adaptive number wheel. Decided to do a 10-sided polygon and put the numbers into it from zero up through nine, and it would be a whole lot easier to roll and manipulate. 16-year-old John Ganya jumped at the chance. That was the whole point of doing it was to, you know, make somebody's life a little bit easier, a little bit better. Knowing that she was able to, to you know, participate in that class just like any other student should be able to, it, you know, made work 100% worth it. It took about a week and a half to make before the final product was given to Moore on Tuesday. Wit already notices a difference. That really did help her to be able to react as quickly as the others and it gave her more confidence. Moore is all smiles. Is it good? Yeah, really good. All told, it only cost about $12 to make, but to Moore, it's worth so much more. Thank you. In Roanoke County, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. The school's mechatronics and engineering students are now planning to design and build more devices to help more.